Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It's Krebsy here, and chances are, if you're watching this video right now, Krebsy is suffering at work, working a long ass shift. What's to you guys? When you guys get to enjoy a video. <laughs> so here we are in some Air Arcade. We haven't done an Air Arcade in a long time, so I thought I would revisit this just to see what it's like. And man, it just feels like a whole new game. Well, not really, to be honest, but there has been some changes with the planes and whatnot. Like, I tried landing on an airfield with this King Cobra at about 500 kilometers an hour, even 300, and I couldn't do it. It kept on skipping like a skipping stone. So something happened in that department where it just loves to skip uh, when you get <laughs> near the ground. That's a thing. But if you guys haven't realized, I'm taking out the P-63C5, which is one of the planes that, or one of the vehicles that you can unlock during the Christmas and New Year time events. I think that guy's trying to come after me. We're just gonna keep on climbing, keep on climbing. We can't keep on climbing forever. And we're just gonna change back because I think he's given up hope for me and we're gonna try to engage him. Let's go, bring it on. Actually, there's a BF-109 over here as well. I wonder if he's gonna realize I'm even here. Hello, dear sir. I get introduced to my 37 millimeter cannon, enjoy. Yeah, that's the beauty of the P-63 on unsuspecting foes. Oh my god! And the beauty of the P-63 on on uh, being on a defense is actually not too much of a beauty because this plane is much more about its en energy retention than it is about uh, actual dogfighting. So I'm trying to maintain my altitude here. Uh, I'm actually just keeping my flaps up and I am not using landing flaps or anything like that because then I'd be bleeding speed and I wouldn't be able to maintain this altitude advantage and now I can switch on over to the landing flaps and get a bit more uh, a bit more oomph oh <laughs> that snap oh god you guys have to understand how hard that actually was because uh, my plane was not pulling up that was a literal roll I had to roll in order to get the angle for that nice all right let's dive down on this guy so this plane there is literally probably over a million uh, P-63 or King Cobra variants, Cobra variants even, Era Cobra, King Cobra, in the game. So, you know, it can be a little bit confusing the difference between the two, but in general what you can say is that they're good energy fighters. It's all about getting the altitude advantage, they're great at climbing. Oh, shit. They're great at climbing. Oh, what am I doing? My angles are awkward here. And so you get an altitude advantage, uh, and then you kill your opponents that way. They have very bad... They're very bad at turning when you've lost all your energy, so energy retention is important in this plane. But likewise, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to dog fight, uh, chances are you're probably going to lose unless you're up against a flying brick. Uh, a Nokia phone or something, a flying Nokia phone. Because this plane is admittedly quite bad at turning, so gotta be quite careful in that department, you know? Pretty bad! Alright, let's focus down whatever this thing is. Oh, hurricane. HOLY SUGAR! I told you it was bad at turning! Yeah, and that's uh, Krebsy right there. Getting used to the controls again in Air Arcade. Did I mention that I haven't played for about two months? <laughs> I think it was blatantly obvious right there. That was a horrendous angle to go in in this plane. If I was flying like a Japanese plane, oh yeah, that would have been easy. But this is not a Japanese plane. This is actually a Lend-Lease Russian plane. So, yeah. It was Lend-Leased to the Russians. And actually of American origin. So, I don't know. It's not good at turning. And here's Krebsy going in for a dive. And me talking about bad turning, but this should be fine. This is an awkward angle, but it's not as awkward as it was last time. We're just gonna lower down the speed, do a little bit of rolls, displacement rolls, and oh, wow, <laughs> action, arcade, <laughs> yeah, arcade, arcade, that's arcade for you. It's like a die-hard movie, almost. Anyway, I can tangle with these P-63s, they're fun. Or P-47s, rather. What am I talking about P-63s? 
because they fly like bricks in turns. Yeah, there we go. We got him. And so I could probably dogfight him. Why not? No problem. Nice thing about this plane is it has so much cannon rounds. So you don't have to do uh, reload them for a long time. Alright. Come on, Krebsy. There we go. Got him in the belly. On the underneath side. Underside of his wing. It all counts, man. It's all good. And now let's go after this guy. Why am I shooting my guns? Nervous tension. My anxiety getting to me. So ideally, this plane is really good at killing bigger targets. What I love doing with these P-63s, uh, and just any any plane that has a high caliber sort of weapon, like a 37mm, 45mm, I love going for bigger targets. I love going for bigger targets. So like your bombers and uh, attackers and stuff like that, because they're a lot easier to hit and, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? It's just so satisfying to see I don't know, an Isle 2 or a Donier or a Wellington with a half a wing spiraling towards the ground and then knowing that you caused it. It's a pretty it's a pretty sadistic but good feeling, you know? That's what it is. And there we go. So nine kills so far. We're gonna climb up into the sky. I don't have any more backup planes for this plane though, so I'm just gonna try not to die. Because I wanna show you guys it as best as possible in a good light and this p47 is starting to make me get a little bit worried because you know what sometimes people are like if you've killed them they see a skull next to your name they're like i want some revenge i'm gonna dive down on this bastard you know so we gotta be careful about him what is he doing is he trying to spawn kill or go specifically for our bigger planes possibly potentially now if this il4 had a little bit of a sense what he would do is fly towards us who is trying to assist them but that's if he's seen the P-47 and realizes that he's being chased. Somebody texted me. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Why do I feel like this is... Okay, good. I just felt like any second now he was going to appear on top of me or below me and then we'd crash into each other. That's happened before. Sometimes you hear the roar of engines around you. And then the next thing you know, there's a plane colliding with your wing. Happens. I'm coming to the rescue! Probably gonna go for this BF-109 first... I guess. Actually, we'll go for this guy. Easy kill. Alright, come on, turn camera angles. Sometimes you have to like... Oh, look at the camera angles! Oh my gosh. Those angles. Those angles. Holy crap. Holy Jesus. So much speed. So much speed. All right, here we go, round two. And we gotta worry about that hurricane really soon. Round numero dos. Take that, hopefully that fire will burn him out. That guy's on fire, literally. What happened to the hurricane? Gonna take a quick 360. All right, I don't see anything on my mini map, so he must have died, I imagine. If he's not there, he must be dead. He's not a magician, all right. And now, it looks like the side is pretty much cleared on up, so we got some reinforcements. Killed some guys. It's all good. It's all good now. God, I just feel like something's gonna sneak up on me and kill me. This is, this is RB. This is what RB has done to me. In realistic battles, you don't know where people are, so I just feel like at any second now, somebody's gonna appear around me and kill me. I'm in the RB sort of senses. BF 109. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. 37 into the pilot skull. It's a Robin Hood shot. Bullseye. Boom. What does this guy talk about? I thought the 45mm on the Yak 9K was supposed to be good on the ground targets. I think it's crap. It doesn't kill tanks or pillboxes. Do you load AP shells? Yeah, I wonder what shells he's got. Why can't I kill him when I'm using air target belts? Why can't I kill this tank? I don't know. Yeah, he has to use ground target belt. He has to use ground target. Then don't whine. <laughs> Chat is so amusing sometimes. Alright, so here we are. Gaining more altitude. Enjoying the scenery below. Look at these 
unnatural rock formations. Are these, is there anywhere in the world where there's rock formations like this? You know? Is there anywhere? Grand Canyon? I don't know. Anyway, this guy's so dead. Yeah, he was just flying in a straight line. You can't ask for anything more than that. Sometimes people are just really nice in this game and they just line up shots for you. Oh, and look at this, he's lining up a shot for me as well. He's like, kill me, Krebs, kill me. Watch as I do a, a dolphin dive. A whale dive, a whale whatever. Oh my gosh. Look at this evasive ninja, oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta fly away though. We gotta fly, fly far away. All right, reload. Gotta fly away because we got enemies inbound. And you remember what I said about low speed uh, turn fighting. Doesn't happen, I'm not gonna win. So we gotta fly away, play it smart. Fortunately, I couldn't get that donier, but you know what? There's plenty of doniers in the sea, as they say. That's how the saying goes, right? There's many doniers in the sea. So, we can get another one another day. It says B of 110, that's very slow, attacker. I mean, not slow, but, uh, you know, relatively speaking, compared to a fighter, I would win. F4U, fast plane, decent r uh, turn rate. Spitfire, very good turn rate. So, gotta kill him, it's gonna be hard. Anything with really good turn speeds is kind of hard to adjust your shots onto. Alright, but we got him. That was a good shot. And now we try to lead our shots on Mr. Corsair. And Corsair is no more. Corsair is now uh, without the air. Cor Cor smash into the ground. No? You don't get it? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Take the air out of the Corsair, and then it crashes into the ground. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the leaderboard. Uh, looks like a lot of enemies are dead. And I've noticed this as enemies are becoming more and more sporadic. There's a Mustang that's in space. Yep. Yep. The space program started off with the Mustang. That's right. So, what can we go for? I guess we'll go for this guy firstly since why not and then we'll switch targets over to this guy and get that momentum going you know whoa hello oh no oh bugger we're gonna need teammate support in fact what we're gonna do is engage into an upward spiral and keep our uh, flap flaps raised because we should have better energy retention than this guy and better climb rate at least I hope so yeah there we go, we lined up the shot for my teammates to kill him. And that Mustang's still in space. Huh. Okay, so let's continue our merry way. We took a little bit of superficial damage. Seems like we're turning still just as fine. This has turned out to be a long match. Man, how long is this video? Are you guys still even watching this video right now? If you are still watching, Leave a comment in the comment box below with your presence. Let your presence be known. Yes, Krebs, I am still watching the video. Well done. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks. Alright, let's try to... I'm still worried about that Mustang. Ah! <laughs> the Mustang! <laughs> he killed me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. How did I know? Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'm dead. I'm still worried about the Mustang, and the Mustang comes down and kills me. 16 for 2. So, in the end, we lost. Uh, goddamn Mustang. <laughs> Ruined the day. And there we, there we came out in the end. There was our position. Yep, that was it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the P63. I really like this plane in general i just like any planes of derp cannons because i mean what's not fun in blowing off somebody's wing in one shell so yeah hope you guys enjoyed what would you like to see in the next episode until then this is krebsy and i'll catch you guys later